sometimes it's funny it won't start with the hood on or with a the seat that dirty. They didn't remote start one time with the hood open. It also could be completely I, I threw Out some of gas. gas in. There was like maybe a gallon. Sounds of like a car there. that needs gas. <laughs> it may not be enough. Okay, so I checked underneath the car because mine's obviously, as I said, uh, under the car and sitting in the trunk. A little bit of blood. I had these wires crossed, so I had the red going in here. And I just had them switched. So I swapped them in the trunk to see if that did the trick. So now the JMS, the green light's coming on. So it's getting power, it's grounded and everything like that. Um, but for some reason, the fuel pump is not coming on. So I gotta figure out why the fuel pump is not coming on. Woo! Oh yeah! I gotta put the interior together still. So I got the car running and I'm just running into a few issues and it's super hot in the garage and I tell you what, I'm losing it, man. <laughs> but no, uh, really the uh, issues I'm running into is zero on the low side fuel and on the uh, IATs are like over 200. So that is no good. I didn't, I don't think I bled the uh, coolant system properly so i'm gonna try to let it cool down uh do that and there's there's just something going on with that low side fuel uh making things wonky so i'm just going through the data and, and back and forth with the tuner and trying to figure out what is going on so i searched everywhere on the internet and to use the mechanical whatever like fuel pressure tester there's like nowhere where it says to tap in um to test the fuel pressure um, without using any sensors, obviously, uh, just in case some, one of those are wrong. So it came up with this, <laughs> and I'm going to tap in, oh, it's hard to see without a light, right in where uh, the fuel, this is it's really dark, but the fuel line connects in here, so I'm going to disconnect that, and then I'm going to use the Whipple provided the 3 8 with the quick connects. I'm going to put that on there, and then this is going to go to this piece, which these are 3 8 lines. Uh, it'll quick connect there, and then the uh, the other fuel line will click uh, connect here, and then I'll be able to test the fuel pressure that way. Now this piece in the kit that I um, borrowed from AutoZone and even O'Reilly's, they have a 1 4th. And it's just too small for those 3 8 lines, and it doesn't work. So I went to a local speed shop, and the guy put this together for me. Um, now I can test it using one of these guys instead of all the electronics to test what is wrong. Okay, so I have my one end connected here, that 90-degree fitting. 
I'm gonna disconnect uh, the fuel line right here. And then I'm gonna tap into it using my little uh, concoction here. So um, that's gonna go on here. And this piece is gonna go on my makeshift uh, little adapter here. And there you go, I got that vacuum line hooked up there just in case it's spitting fuel out. And just in case, I'm ready with the bowl. <laughs> and uh, wish me luck. So that's what that's what it looks like. Should work. Test this fuel pressure. So right now it's reading 50. Oh, it, it keeps knocking down to zero. And hooked up mecha the mechanical gauge. And it's reading steady. It's not clipping down to zero. So something... I don't know if it's fuel pressure sensor or what. Let's see what's going on.